So before we get onto the ice, we need to make sure that we are prepared. So making sure that your skates are nicely tied is very, very essential. Everyone has their own preference on how they want to tie it, but you really need to make sure that your ankle has a lot of stability. You do not want to make it too loose that you're falling out of your skates because this could hurt your ankles for sure. I prefer to have my skates a little bit tight at the beginning, in the middle a little bit looser, and then again tight around the ankle. But honestly, it's up to you how you want to tie it. You have to figure it out. Once you've got your skates tied, just give them a test run, walk around, see how, if they're comfortable or not, and if you have enough stability in your ankle. If you feel they're too loose, then retie them, make them a little bit tighter, and if they're too tight, cutting off your circulation, you should make them a little bit looser. Another thing I would suggest when going on the ice is to invest in some knee pads and a helmet. This is very essential for a beginner and frankly the ice is slippery so you might hurt yourself because skating is a dangerous sport. So make sure you're taking the precautions to stay safe and yeah so if you're ready grab your skates, grab some gloves and grab a jacket and let's get onto the ice. So first we're going to be talking about our edges. These are the curves that we stand on on the ice. So we're going to be talking about the inside and outside. So here I'm demonstrating inside and now outside. So you're curving in or leaning in for inside and leaning out for outside. So in and outside. Good. Here I'm showing you from the back, inside and outside. And here I'm standing on two edges. So now let's get down to our center and posture so that we have a good balance on the ice. So first what you want to do is stand on two legs, obviously. You want to keep your stomach in, you want to stay in your knees, and you want to keep your arms out to the side so you're in nice balance. You never want to arch your back, nothing like that. So stomach in, in, in your knees, and your arms are out to the side. So we're going to start with a very basic move, walking forwards and backwards. So we're going to remember our posture and we're going to start walking very slowly. Just like you would on the sidewalk, here I will demonstrate it a little bit slower. And now a side view, so you're kind of marching forward really slowly, trying to keep that posture I mentioned. Good, and your head is up high. And now I'm going to demonstrate it how it looks on the wall. So if you're not ready to do it alone, the wall is perfect. Once you feel like you've mastered forwards, we're going to try backwards. But I would try this on the wall first. Here I'm demonstrating it in slow-mo. So it's the same action. You're just walking backwards, marching backwards, and your posture is nice and good. So no arching, no leaning, nothing like that. So now once you've mastered walking, we will move on to swizzles. So this is a little bit more advanced. So once again, we've got our skating posture. Feet are together and we're gonna kind of make an O with our feet. So we're going inside edge, feet together, inside edge. Pigeon toes and inside O. Pigeon toe and an inside edge O. Pigeon, inside. So now I'm gonna show this in slow-mo, a little bit overview. So we're doing the pigeon toe opening and then inside edge, making an O. Good, so once you've mastered that, we'll do backwards and it's the same exact movement. Open pigeon toe inside O, a little bit view of the feet. So now we're going to move on to ski glides. So this is very easy if you're a skier. If not, don't worry, just keep trying. So we're just doing a little action, just gliding side to side, going outside, outside, and outside edge. Just gliding side to side. Once you've mastered that, you can try backwards. Same thing, outside slide, outside slide, outside slide. And we're just rotating our hips at the same time. Now let's move on to the one foot glide. I suggest trying this on the wall first. I will demonstrate that later. So we're keeping our good skating posture and we're just gonna glide on one foot very slowly. Do not try to get a lot of speed here. Here I'll demonstrate it on the wall, so same thing. So now we're gonna go pushing side to side. 
So once you've mastered all those things, it's time to try and glide on one foot. So we're gonna bring our feet together and then push out to the side, keeping our skating posture, trying to stretch our leg every time we push out. Doing everything very, very slowly. So try not to hectically push, try to push in a gradual movement. So now we're gonna learn how to stop. It's a very essential move for skating. So we're gonna start with the hockey stop. And our legs are a little bit apart and we're just gonna push out onto the outside edge, trying to kind of shave the ice at the same time, really like skid. Yeah, exactly like that. And I'm gonna show you a T-stop. So you're trying to make your feet into a little T form. I will show you a side view in slow-mo. So you're stretching out and then coming to the T. None of these stops are working for you at the beginning. Just keep trying. Stopping is a lot harder than it looks. Now we're gonna learn how to fall. Before you can skate, you have to learn how to fall and get back up. So I'm gonna demonstrate how to fall. And you wanna make sure that your hands are out there to save you at all times. You're keeping your head forward and stomach engaged so you don't let your head drop back so you see here i'm getting my arms out and they're saving me and my head is always in front and i don't let it swing back that could be very dangerous you can imagine now i'm demonstrating how to get back up in slow-mo you're just putting one foot in front getting down from that knee pushing up you can push with your arms up if it's too difficult and that's it that's how you get back up so those are all my skating tips for beginners i hope you guys enjoyed that and if you like to see more videos from me i do a lot of workout videos skating videos everything so check it out until next time bye